Most of us have been through some type of severe weather in our lives, but have you ever wondered how warnings are issued? Meteorologist Brian Dugues walks us through the process of tracking a storm and getting to a safe place. Well, back on February 8th, historic tornadoes ripped through portions of southern Wisconsin. In the small town of Albany, practices and games were getting underway. Well, it was a normal day here at Albany, but it was it was scary um, and, and very surreal, especially for February. A day which turned historic. Wisconsin's first ever recorded February tornado on the ground. You can see the violent storm in this video, and you'll see a bus that just dropped off the Blackhawk basketball team to the game. Inside, Derek Dasher, the district's athletic director and girls basketball coach, was practicing with his team. Being in an all-brick gymnasium, we didn't hear anything. We didn't hear the rain coming down. We didn't hear the hail. We didn't hear the wind, of course. But we heard the alarms. We heard the alerts from the uh, girls' cell phones. Dasher says he doesn't know what they would have done without those alerts. It's scary to think about. It really is. So we're very thankful for the alerts. Um, they did what they were put in place for um, to not only alert, but to possibly save lives. We all know that severe weather alerts help save both life and property, and the First Alert weather team is here to get you through the storm from start to finish. But that tornado warning we are covering and sending through our app, it was actually issued by the National Weather Service. The main goal is just letting as many people know as possible that, hey, there's something bad out there. Take shelter for a little while and just ride it out until the, the storm passes. Tim Halbach is the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Milwaukee. His team is monitoring the weather 24-7, 365, and is ready to issue those important alerts. So on a day where we have uh, storms that we're expecting to be severe or produce tornadoes, we have extra staff members come in that uh, one of them will typically just sit on radar and watch scan to scan. WMTV First Alert meteorologists work closely with the National Weather Service all to help keep southern Wisconsin safe. It's a big team effort, so it, it's not just us putting out the warnings, but then everybody else that's helping get that word out. So we work with 911 dispatchers, the television, media, everybody else going out on social media. And it doesn't stop there. Reports from trained storm spotters and the public help meteorologists forecast right through these severe weather events. Something that really helped us out on the night of Evansville was we were getting reports from storm spotters and storm chasers that there was a tornado on the ground by Albany and then again uh, with Evansville. People react more to the warnings when they hear that there's actually a tornado on the ground as opposed to some of our initial warnings. It's scary to think about what could have been had the alert system not worked and, and not been in our favor like it was that night. Now, if you are wanting to become a storm spotter or just want to learn more about the weather, the National Weather Service has storm spotter classes continuing into the springtime season. You can find more on those, da those dates by heading over to WMTV15news.com. In the studio, meteorologist Brian Dukes, WMTV15news.